Hera, the queen of the gods. In the ancient pantheon of Greek gods, there existed one whose strength, beauty, and regal demeanor set her apart from all others. Hera, the queen of the gods, and the goddess of marriage, family, and childbirth. Born to the titans Cronus and Rhea, Hera emerged from the depths of Mount Olympus as a radiant and powerful goddess. Her golden hair cascading down her shoulders and her piercing gaze commanding the respect of all who beheld her. From her earliest moments, Hera displayed a fierce determination and unwavering devotion to her family and her kingdom, earning her the admiration and loyalty of all who served her. But Hera's path to greatness was not without its trials and tribulations. From a young age, she found herself thrust into a world of intrigue and betrayal, as her father Cronus, driven by greed and ambition, sought to overthrow his own father Uranus and seize control of the cosmos for himself. Determined to put an end to her father's tyranny, Hera allied herself with her siblings, Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Demeter, and Hestia, forming a powerful coalition against Cronus and his minions. Together, they waged a mighty war against the Titans, battling them across the heavens and the earth in a struggle that would determine the fate of the cosmos itself. In the end, it was Hera's unwavering courage and indomitable spirit that proved to be the Titan's undoing. With her divine strength and strategic brilliance, she led her siblings to victory casting Cronus and his followers into the depths of Tartarus and establishing herself as the rightful ruler of Mount Olympus. But even as Hera ascended to the throne of the gods, she found herself faced with new challenges and adversaries at every turn, from the scheming nymphs of the forest to the monstrous giants of the earth there were those who sought to undermine her authority and usurp her power. Yet Hera faced each new challenge with grace and dignity, using her cunning and intellect to outmaneuver her enemies and protect her kingdom from harm. With the aid of her loyal attendants, the goddesses Iris and Hebe, Hera maintained order and stability on Mount Olympus, ensuring that the gods and mortals alike lived in harmony under her benevolent rule. But perhaps Hera's greatest trial came in the form of her tempestuous relationship with her husband Zeus, the king of the gods. Despite their shared love and devotion, Zeus's infidelities and indiscretions often drove a wedge between them, testing Hera's patience and resolve to their limits. Yet through it all, Hera remained steadfast in her commitment to Zeus, ten their union, determined to overcome any obstacle that stood in the way of their love. And though their relationship was often tumultuous, and fraught with conflict, it was also marked by moments of great passion and tenderness, as Zeus and Hera worked together to navigate the challenges of Ruli over the cosmos. As the ages passed and civilizations rose and fell, Hera's influence continued to be felt throughout the mortal realm from the grand palaces of ancient Greece to the bustling cities of the modern world, her presence was revered and feared in equal measure, as mortals offered prayers and sacrifices in her honor, seeking her blessings and protection in times of need. As the ages passed and civilizations flourished, 
Hera's influence continued to shape the world of gods and mortals alike. From her throne on Mount Olympus, she watched over the affairs of the cosmos with a mixture of maternal warmth and regal authority, ensuring that justice was upheld and order maintained in both heaven and earth. Yet, despite her many accomplishments, Hera's reign was not without its challenges. Her relationship with her husband Zeus remained a source of constant tension, as his infidelities and indiscretions continued to test her patience and resolve, but Hera refused to let her husband's transgressions define her, instead focusing her energies on ruling over her kingdom with wisdom and compassion. One of Hera's greatest achievements was her role in protecting the sanctity of marriage and family as the goddess of marriage. She took great pride in presiding over the weddings of mortals and bestowing her blessings upon their unions, yet she was also fiercely protective of her own. Marriage to Zeus, refusing to tolerate any threats to her status as queen of the gods. But perhaps Hera's most enduring legacy was her unwavering dedication to the well-being of her children, though she had no children of her own. She treated Zeus's offspring with the same love and care as if they were her own flesh and blood. She watched over them with a watchful eye, guiding them through the trials and tribulations of godhood, and ensuring that they lived up to their full potential. In her later years, Hera's focus shifted towards fostering peace and prosperity throughout the cosmos. She worked tirelessly to mediate conflicts between the gods and mortals, using her diplomatic skills to negotiate treaties and alliances that would benefit all parties involved. And though her efforts were not always successful, she never wavered in her commitment to promoting harmony and understanding among all beings. As the centuries passed and Hera's power began to wane, she retreated from the affairs of the mortal realm, content to watch over her kingdom from afar. But her influence continued to be felt through out the cosmos as mortals continued to invoke her name in times of need and gods looked to her for guidance and wisdom. And though her physical form may have faded from memory, Hera's spirit lived on, a timeless symbol of strength, resilience, and the enduring power of love. For as long as there were marriages to be blessed and families to be protected, Hera would remain a steadfast guardian and eternal queen of the gods.